Welcome back to the Pilates Fix. I'm Kristen Matthews. Today is the last day of the Holiday Fix Challenge. We are at day 25. I can't believe it, but I kind of can because the last few weeks have just flown by. Uh, but I've had such a blast doing this and I've loved putting those videos up there. I've loved hearing from you guys and it's been great for me and I hope it's been great for you. I normally don't get to work out that much this time of the year, so I feel good. I'm not gonna feel guilty when I'm chowing down with my family for the holidays. And neither should you. Give yourself a little break and give yourself a pat on the back for doing this all this challenge. If you haven't been able to fit them all in, they're there, get to them when you can. They're gonna be there, so you know, get to it when you can. Um, today's workout, our last workout, is going to be a cardio core workout. I'm going to keep this pretty short because it's December 23rd. People are either traveling or with their family for the most part. So we'll get a really quick workout in. We'll get our heart rate up a little bit. You'll feel your whole body working. And then you can enjoy some time off. So grab your mat. You're also today, we're not going to get started yet. You're also going to need, and I said this yesterday in yesterday's video, Either um, towels, if you're on a hardwood floor, little hand towels, or if you're on carpet, paper plates work great. So we're gonna do some stuff, um, moving our legs back and forth and with these underneath the feet, okay? So get whatever you need, whether you're on a carpet or a rug, and let's get started. So let's start on our backs. We're not gonna use the towels or plates this moment, we'll in a minute. Just put them to the side, we're gonna do a quick Little variation of footwork to warm up and then we'll get your heart rate up, okay? So, on your backs, hands behind your head, heels together, toes apart, knees open. You wanna get your head and shoulders long from the crown of your head and curl your head and shoulders up. If you need to keep your head down, hands go under your tailbone and you can just keep the head down. So you'll curl your head and shoulders up, your toes are long, abs are in. You stretch the legs out, and you come in for eight. Inhale, exhale, seven, and six. You press your legs together strong, five. Going to a challenging angle, but keeping your back down. Three, out, in, two, out, in, one. Stretch out, hold out there, flex end point, five, four, legs together, three, two, one, bend the knees in. Now, bring your legs together, squeeze those inner thighs, toes stay pointed, you go out and in for eight, abs in. This is basically footwork if you've ever done reformer work. Five more, pretend your feet are around a bar, a little bird in a perch, three, in, two, in, one, in, reach your legs out, you flex and point, two, Three, four, five. My ankles don't want me to do that. And come back in. Flex your feet. Last little set. Out and in. Eight. Abs in. Seven. Push through your heels. Six. Back through your toes. Five. Abs in. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now reach out. I'm going to turn my legs out this time. Point and flex. Five. Four. Three, feel those abs working, I'm shaking, and bend your knees in. Oh, okay, that warmed me up. So come up to a seated position. You grab your towels or your plate, and I'm actually gonna move my mat out of the way a little bit because I don't have that much room in my apartment, so I'm just gonna push my mat to the side so I can, so you guys can see me. Otherwise, I'm not gonna do the frame. So you wanna get those towels underneath your feet. I would start on your hands and knees. Get your knees in line with your hips, your hands in line with your shoulders. And you have your feet in the middle of the towel or the plate, so just to make sure that they're there and they're not gonna slip. I'll turn a little this way so you can see me a little better. From here, I'm gonna stretch one leg out, get in that plank, stretch the other leg out. We're gonna start with mountain climbers. Your tailbone is long, Reach long through the crown of your head, bring your right knee in, and then left. Right and left. So nice pace here. We'll do 20 of these. That was 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, abs in, three, two, one. Stretch both your legs out, hold there. The legs are gonna open and close. I'm probably cleaning my floor as I'm doing this. And open and close, six more. You just wanna stay really still with your torso, four. After this one, we'll take a little break. Two, and one. Legs in, lower your knees. Just sit back on your heels, roll your wrists out. Give them a little break, give them a little shake. We'll go back into that plank. The next one, I call it the knee stretch version because it's like knee stretches on the reformer. Both your knees will come in and out 20 times. So, you get into that same plank. Let's get those legs together this time if you can. Tailbone's long, and you pull your abs in, knees in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have 10 more for 10. Push strong in your hands. Seven more. Six, five, abs in. Four, three, two, one. Lower your knees. Take a break. The heart rate gets up pretty fast. And roll your wrists out. Next one, we'll do a pike up. So instead of bending the knees in, you want to keep your legs straight. Think of your butt being pulled up to the sky. We're just going to do 10 of these because we're not going to go as fast. Legs together again, if that's okay for you. So get back into your plank, tailbones long, press strong into your hands, pull your abs in, you're gonna pike up, look in towards your belly button, go back out for 10. You wanna think of folding in half. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Really feel your whole body work. Three, two, last one. Hold it there. Open and close. Last thing. Two, three, four. Abs in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold. Lower your knees. Sit back onto your heels. Roll your wrists out. Good. Now you're just going to. Sit back into child's pose for a stretch. Hold it here, so stretch that low back. Take a deep inhale, and exhale. Last deep breath in, and then exhale. And then you're gonna roll yourself all the way up, and that's it. You finished the 25 day holiday fix challenge. Can you believe it? I'm so psyched for all of us. You guys really give yourself some credit. Now have so much fun with your family. Remember, these videos are there for a long time. So come back whenever you can. These hold up all throughout the year. They're not just for this crazy holiday period. They're some of my favorite workouts. We're gonna continue adding videos in the new year. We're actually gonna be working on a new DVD also. So definitely stay tuned for all of that. Remember, remember to subscribe so you really stay up to date. And you can also go to our Pilates Fix Online website and you can subscribe to our newsletters, newsletter to be, up to, to be kept up to date for that stuff also. Don't be strangers. Please continue to interact with us, comment. That's always helpful. Like the videos, we really appreciate any interaction. It helps us a lot. Let's us know where we are, what you guys want, what you may need. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Have a happy holiday, happy new year, and I will see you in 2016. Bye.